Welcome back to Chamber Exchange, the TV show, and want to thank Bank Hometown for making it happen. And here we are in our final segment. We're going to talk a little bit of food. We've talked uh, about mo coaching and mentoring. Uh, we've talked about uh, cybersecurity and, and the challenge of that. Now we're going to talk about food, which is uh, almost everyone's favorite subject. Uh, <laughs> thrilled to have with us Chamber board member and the owner of, of Unique Cafe, Nadine James, and her daughter Kayana with us. Hello. And so, uh, so a lot of exciting things happening uh, with, with Unique Cafe, and it, it's a, a restaurant. Uh, and you started this, Nadine, tell us how you started the business, and, and we'll uh, roll out and tease out to our audience the, the big opening. Okay. So, um, thank you for having us here. Um, we started the business in the, the depths of the pandemic, um, when everything was just dark, and we we wanted to bring something new something to get people together in that time and that's how we started in the the depths of the pandemic and and it's a, f a food business but with a kind of specific flavor and and cuisine right yes so uni cafe is a taste of jamaica we infuse it with the american stamp my my children are um from jamaica so from right. um, america <laughs> and i am from jamaica right. so we use the both of it and come together and just make an infusion um restaurant and that's a not a that's kind of a new thing right the fusion yeah. you know yeah. taking traditions from from various co uh, countries uh and and, and Places even within countries have different kind of food, kind of focuses, and uh, and then kind of fusing that with the American style. And so it's it's been a family affair, right, Kiana? Right. <laughs> um, it's me and my little sister right now helping my mom run the place. <laughs> <laughs> it's been great. Uh, it's a learning experience, but yes, fusing the American culture and the Jamaican culture. Um, it's what's working for us. So. And you started the business, you said, in the middle of the pandemic, but you, you've, you worked with the Worcester Food Hub. Yes. Uh, maybe you could talk a little bit about that, because people have ideas, they have recipes, but then how do you scale it? Uh, local and state government requires different permittings and requirements, so you, you started working with the Food Hub. Yes. In 2019, um, I started working with the Food Hub. Um, we go to, like, six-week water class. It's on, on like, it's then two, two hours of your day. It's a sacrifice, but it's a good sacrifice. Because um, I went there as a, with an idea like, okay, I just want to make do juice. Juicing helped me throughout the year, so I want to bring it to um, the world now. And I hear about this program, got into this program, and that was uh, like mind blowing because now my ideas are started to see it on paper, and they give us all hands on what we need for to do a startup, like who you go to, what permit do you want, you get your safe serve, all of those things that you need that no one tell you about. You just have an idea, you're just cooking, right. but there is um, different um, criteria that you need to cook, right. and and I get all of that criteria that I need from the food. Um, uh, and so you're able to use uh, use that kind of pop up to, to yes. you, know, you could then, you yes. could pr you know work on producing th to scale yeah. different venues where mm -hmm. they you could kind of deliver your product and yes. one of them uh, I was at and it was yeah. great and and now you've been able to have a, a catering business you've yes. catered some of our chamber events and people love it yes but, um. but, <laughs> but now it's next level right now yeah. we're taking a big step we're yeah. going from kind of this pop up utilization of mm -hmm. a commercial kitchen on a rented basis to a brick and mortar business. Yeah. Yep. I think it's great because we're still able to do the catering out of our own kitchen now. Um, it's huge. So yeah. we have the space. We have so much more equipment to just do everything there. Um, we had shut down previously for a while and it really helped us expand on our catering business. So now we're more established in the catering. So hopefully we can manage it too. Um, I think we'll be fine though. And so as, just t this taped, uh, as we tape this up, uh, a soft opening has just happened, but the big news is that Unique Cafe signed a lease yes. to go into what was the old uh, uh, Blanchard's Diner yes. or on Cambridge Street. Yes. So yes. kind of a, a well-known, iconic place that mm -hmm. it has a great atmosphere and, and a great business, yes. you know, diner experience, the traditional, that the yep. Blanchard's was modeled after, uh, after the traditional Worcester Diner. Yes. And, uh, but also you have space, as you mentioned, Kiana, for, to do the catering, which yep. is pretty good size. Oh, right. Yes. Yep. Yes. And so what can people expect when they go? We want you to experience Jamaica, the accents, the music. We want you to come in and feel welcome. And we really want it to feel like home. 
Yes. Feel free to just come there, hang out. We have free Wi-Fi. We'll be giving out free samples. We want to welcome a lot of college students um, mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. area just to come and hang out. We're planning to do some events like karaoke, paint night. We have a candle making event coming up on March 11th, I believe. Um, so yeah, yeah. A, a bunch of a bunch of things. So kind of the soft opening, and then we're on April 6th. We're going to do the official ribbon cutting and yes. grand opening. Yes. Um, but until then, hours of operation. I know there's going to be a brunch. So yes. yeah. What do we think? So right now we're doing Monday to Wednesday and Saturday, 7 to 3:30, and then Thursdays and Fridays we are doing 7 to 7. Brunches are on Saturdays, and we're going to start um, once a month Sunday brunches, but we haven't established that yet. So it's it's getting it up and running, mm -hmm. and kind of kind of working out the, the, <laughs> the, the kinks. kinks. But yeah. uh, the food weather is, is always going to be good. Having yes. sampled it on a number of occasions, um, you have, you've got a great presence on Instagram in terms of communicating. Where else can people go to learn about times, locations, special events? I would say the number one source is Instagram, but we're also on Facebook and LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. We try our best to update our Google as well, but all updates and live updates will be on Instagram. Okay, yep. and is there yeah. a specific <laughs> tag? Yes, Unique Cafe MA. Okay, Unique yeah. Cafe MA. Well, congratulations. I think uh, our, our, our chamber staff are very excited as our board members uh, <laughs> about this. and. You know, uh, in the South Worcester neighborhood, uh, Blanche's Diner was a staple, and now mm -hmm. Unique Cafe is going to continue that tradition oh, with, yes. a, with, a, with a Jamaican flair. Yes. So everyone's <laughs> excited. So bring your taste bud if you want it. You'll taste travel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you'll, bring, you'll bring those taste buds alive. Yeah. yeah. Well, Nadine, Kayana, thank you for being with us, uh, and, and we're excited, and congratulations. Thank, thank you so you. much, it's too. Pleasure. All right. Good stuff. Uh, get to Unique Cafe, Cambridge Street, the old Blanchard's Diner, and uh, thank Bank Hometown for sponsoring the show. And until next time, signing off for this edition of Chamber Exchange, a TV show. <laughs>